Where is it? That's something to you watch. Eva next year. I, I reckon it'll probably will be next year, maybe because they brought the stadium in this year. If it isn't next year, okay, maybe next year they'll just keep the same idea. But with the next few years. I reckon 2K will go and um, somehow get the licenses or the rights to put all the actual NBA stadiums. They might already have it, maybe, I don't know. To get the actual NBA stadiums in the game. So, because some of the Nets, like, this would be Barclays Center. Like, that'd be cool if this was actually Barclays Center here. And then, like, maybe when I'm playing Toronto, it would be their home court. Whatever the fuck that's called. I don't care. You know, like, if you're playing for the Lakers, this would be fucking Staples or something. That's an idea. Get on it, Ronnie. Mike Wing or whoever else. Someone at 2K. Let's go. I'm still n I'm nervous every time I come in here. I'm expecting it to crash. Okay, let's do a walk. MP, MP. Hang on. My oh, shit isn't equipped. Some of that shit is not equipped. Oh, wait, 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 I can change this now, can I? Yes! Look at me go! Red shoes? I want red shoes. Why are they gonna give me red shoes with all these? Doesn't one of them come with blue shoes? Fuck me, man. Oh, that's fucked. Every single one of them is red shoes. You know what that means? We're going to black shoes. Now yeah, we'll put on whatever the fuck we want. What do we want? Um, let's go, let's just start from the beginning, eh? we we're not home anywhere away, so we'll go this one. There we go. Nice. Toggle favourite. What, what's that going to do for me? I'm saying that might be your favourite. Oh, I like the blue over the white. Oh, I still like that one. I like this one. Classic. That's, that's the new classic. Is it? Or an old classic? What's this? That's the old classic. Oh yeah, that's the new classic. I don't mind that actually. Let's, let's just wear that for today. Yeah. My choice of uniform, guys. Pretty nice, huh? Double check. I don't know why. Hall of Fame, eight minutes. 
What do I go up to 10? <coughs> I'll leave it on 8. I think the score lines are very close to real. They might be a little low. And then we'll see if they keep being too low. I might put the minutes up to. Well, they're 9 cents stupid. I don't want to go an odd number like that. It'll probably be it's either 8 or 10. At the moment it's 8. It could end up being 10. <coughs> Toronto. Are they doing me? You doing me, motherfuckers? On the bench. Today, Greg, it's about the NBA, but tomorrow, tomorrow it's about spending Turkey Day with family and friends. I think everyone realizes it's not something we can take for granted. Cherish those moments with your loved ones. They're likely to be your fondest memories. <coughs> Here's Barnes. <coughs> God damn. Oh, it's a chocolate in a drink. Before I get into this, I might have had a shock of the last time I played Toronto. Durant deciding where to go with it. Curry passes to Durant. Six to shoot. Shoots over Ananobi. No good from Durant. And here's Thomas who brings it up. Come on, KD. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, Kevin, here's what the Raptors head coach had to say when we talked earlier. He said they know the challenge going up against this. Substitute substitution here for Brooklyn. Cool hands checked in for Sharp. T.J. Warren comes in for Royce O'Neal. Edmund Sumner's checked in for <coughs> Kevin Durant. And Simmons... Those sexy for uniforms, Curry. man. One of the best uniforms in the NBA. Maybe I'm just biased. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. And Scotty Barnes, the rookie of the year in 2022 in the NBA. And you could argue he was maybe the biggest surprise of the 21 draft. Maybe. Don't get him. Oops. Stupid. That was stupid. Frustration foul. Numbers like this. How about 87% on the year? He's been somebody they love having at the one. Smitty OG Ananobi from the UK has had a nice impact on the game. And he said he wants to grow the game in England. OG's hoping to open up some paths to the NBA for young players from the UK. Achua, he's checked in for Scotty Barnes. Siakam left side. England shot from England. The offensive rebound. Second shot up. I don't think England will ever be a basketball for the nation. We'll get the odd player here or there and keeping that play alive and finishing it. To the paint. It's tipped. Lob that shit up go for now, you here's on an open. Just could not put it together in that loss to Atlanta. Improving as a passer, Siakam showing a willingness to get it to open teammates. Okay, let's, let's get some shit done here. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50 50 balls also. God damn. Siakam's got his second basket of the night. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working on getting inside and getting good shots from close range. Irving passes to Cool Hands to end the run. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Oh, stronger than that. 
Damn it. The socks change car. It really has. You know, Greg, more and more fans of the team are becoming MP supporters. MP has reached out and done the work to connect with his fans. And you know, something that surprised a lot of people about MP, his interest in the world of fashion. It hasn't taken Jesus. Him one of the NBA's fashion icons. He's making a name for himself in the design business, and he's getting new fans with his clothes and his basketball. Here's Cool Hands, and that one is off. Fuck. The Raptors will take it the other way. They're coming Terrible stuff. Off that recent loss to and that was a game to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, but I think they'd like to just turn Deep. the Oh, fucking Jesus. Nothing Isn't even watching your teammate, Greg. I'm going to stay around it. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. I need a name. Stop fucking. Oh, we maxed out the defensive. Oh shit. Have to reorder them around or something. So there we go. Have to double. Double. Have a look. Simmons left side, cool hands, and he goes in for the dunk. Ah, Simon. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Thomas. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And the Jesus Christ. Team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy, and theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Outside Warren. Mills dishes to Simmons. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot Ooh. attempt. And the closer Simmons gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. I love watching him in attack mode. Outside Thomas. Pass to Van Fleet. The pass to Birch. Shot clock at six. Oh, God damn it. Both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Always going up for the alley. Oh, fuck. Every fucking time. Thomas goes in and finished up by four. Like, if I knew it was coming, I'd fucking be able to time it, but I'm usually expecting this normal pass. I called for this one, see? I know it's coming, it's fine. But when I don't know it's coming, it's just like, oh, Ali, and I just fucking hit the button automatically, like a fucking idiot. Logan. Chris Boucher's check in for Otto Porter Jr. And Adonobi subbed in for Thomas. And a new group in for the Nets. Cool hands checked in for Sharp. Morris comes in for Kevin Durant. O'Neill's check in for TJ Ward. And it's Ben Simmons in for Seth Kirk. Siakam is out there with Chris Boucher. Then it's OG and Anobi. Wow. That's fast. And it's Barnes in at the two guard position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. He's got he's done. With a screen on Irving, and here's Barnes for three. It's amazing. All night he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet they continue to lead. And here's Irving. He's coming off a 13-point game against the 76ers in Philadelphia. Siakam outside. Rebounded by the Nets. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Greg, when you look at Toronto, they have a lot of length and defensive switchability. Ooh, that's better. And tend to make it very difficult. In those passing lanes, so a great profile for a modern NBA. Okay, need more of that. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. 
Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found a temporary edge. Oh, you little now bastard. Now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And DA, we see it all the time. Yes. Yeah, nice cut by me. Uh, nice call for the pass by me. That was one of those ones where, yeah, it would have been fucked if it was the alley oop. It would have fucked the hit those all day long. David, thank you. And the Raptors miss again. Three triples in the first quarter, but he's yet to knock one down here in the second. O'Neal kicks to Simmons. To the middle. Yeah! Let's see, let's make some cuts. Jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Toronto leading by 13. Barnes right side. Gotta get some stops. Got a piece of it. Irving passes to Cool Hands. Here's Morris. And he gets the whistle. Two oh. Coming up. That is good. First one. 15 down. Oh, it's way more common now, and, and let's face it, it's a copycat league. All the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. Achua, he's checked in for the Raptors. Oh, no, you little shit. Oh. Fuck that up. Edmund Sumner's subbed in for Irving. As a distributor, Fred Van Vliet is so effective. He knows when and where to beat his guy. <laughs> Two free throws coming up in the That's his second and seven assists per game through his first four seasons. Think about it, Jordy. Magic Johnson, Oscar Robinson, and Luka Doncic. That is some pretty elite level company. And the Raptors making a change here. Birch has checked in. And a change for the Nets. Warren's checked in. And Mills kicks to Warren. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. Warren's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And Blake deciding where to go with it. Takes the 12 God damn it. And the Raptors lead by you don't a, lot. a lot of his shots come from three, but once in a while, Fred will challenge the defense from the mid range area. Here's Mills, here's Cool Hands. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And so Thomas will like bring it up for the Raptors. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Van Vliet outside. Van Vliet can't get that one to fall. That's trail by nine. One second separating the shot clock and game. The kick out to Warren. Fucked it. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Tries the spin move. Oh, Ooh, there we go. And Kevin, even though they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he did. Well, maybe this is the best time to do it. That's what he does. Here's Van Vliet. Van Vliet can't get that one to fall. And so it's the Toronto Raptors bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. That's six and rebounds. And have to credit their defense for the job they've been Shit. doing against Irving. Kyrie's been almost invisible out there, and we don't say that very often. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Right back. Oh, it's the Jabber What are we gonna do? Some shit dancers. Here we go. I'm gonna see the 2K pay for this shit. I don't get it. It's uh, whatever. What's so special about this shit? 
I really don't understand it. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. And for their matchup with the Mavericks, they're probably the favorites heading into this one. But there's always the possibility of an upset. They better stay sharp. Yeah, never want to give away games you should win. That can come back and bite you right in the... So we're gonna have to play Toronto again in a right, few games. So. Half of play we just Jesus! Saw. It's proving to be an uphill battle for the Nets. Well, a lot of teams well, fucking the best way they need to get back into this game is to show up their rebound. They need to prevent second chance points. And because fight. I need to find some I mean, fight fight to get so. their own. If they could do that, this game still. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You look at cool hands in this game. He's been everywhere. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like oh, everything's been at the rim. Mm -hmm. There's Second been out. a number of jump shots along the way. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. The guard set is Irving and Curry. Duran is out there with cool hands. And it's sharp, and it's the five star. They get it again. Oh, it give cool me. Hand. Yeah. Beauty. You see his link, the explosion, making sure of that one. Bang. I'm just leading by five. Siakam deciding where to go with it. The kick out to Barnes. Right. I get me every time. And the shot goes Shit. in from Siakam. Siakam is getting points. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to see my way to get back in the game. And it's cool here. What's with that it? shit? Toronto's going outside of the Using the button, I'm gonna go back and stick it in. Seven of 17. I have used this one. So yeah, but every now and then when I'm in the pressure, I'm gonna stick the button. In the old days, it was sticking in. Moving against Van Vliet. No good there. The Nets go the other way with it. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Curry with it. And now by Barnes. Really there we go. I went a bit early, but we got it. A low post presence. Pushka. Raptors with the lead. Oh, it's only a five-point game. Yeah. Lead outside. Puts the move on. Shit. What hustle from Kyrie on the defense, outworking the shooter and getting the block. Nah, you idiot. Trying to force a dunk there. With, like contact number didn't work. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. We gotta remember, you gotta do it really quick and then have to do it the way they said it. It's a little bit different. And again, no good by Toronto. More ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. You gotta pick it up. Curry passes to cool hands. Ah, damn it. And here's the fast break. Siakam leading the way. And Siakam oh, I'm just not quick enough. He's such a high level player at both ends. Siakam earning every cent of his max deal. Outside Urban. And again, no goal. I hit that shit card. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Raptors. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Pass to Van Vliet over Irving. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. 
Hey, I sent you a screen, you idiot. He's guarded by Ananobi. And again, it's the Nets missing. Raptors leading by seven. Siakam kicks the ball. And contact on the shot. That is great. Let's go back. 14 down. Oh, I've got me aim mine, so anyway. What the fuck is I even... What? I wasn't... I, what was the score when I come off? I don't remember. It wasn't fucking 18. 18 point game. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at that cheese. The shot's good by Mills. You know, he's not someone who spends a ton of time in the painted area, but Patty... I don't realize I don't have... I'm just going to shoot on base. The fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. Still a center on me. I'm like a normal slasher. To try and make a comeback. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Here's Cool Hands, covered by Achua. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck. This is the Hall of Fame with Chase Dan Harris. Come on. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And the basket by Cool Hand. And this team. No, we can't fucking win where every time I go to the bench, they fucking get out to a 20 point fucking lead. There's the pass to Achua. Van Vliet outside. There's a good screen. Back to Achua. Cut dunk by Achua. Fuck, that was my fault. I'm gonna watch that. You're gonna play different defense with different. They're shooting just 33% in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. And all you gotta do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Effort's been there. Check mark. The physicality. Check mark. They set the tone for this game early on. And so it's the Toronto Raptors. <coughs> <coughs> set the tone? What are they talking about? Every time it gets close, they take me off and fucking 2K gives them a 20 point fucking lead. That's how Hall of Fame works, I guess. Oh, great. We have a minute and a half to try and do anything new. Shooting hands checked in for Sharp. Morris comes in for Ben Simmons. Edmund Sumner's checked in for Seth Curry. That's Mills in for Kyrie Irving. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. Don Siakam. Achua is out there with Ken Birch. Then there's Chris Boucher. And it's four to at the point. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident looking performance for Toronto. And every opportunity they manage to push the ball and keep the up tempo game going. Yeah, I think it paid off, that's for sure. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And they're able to even the score of this series at a game. Give them an inch, they're fucking not taking it. In the season series. And one of the key games oh, in this victory, dang. if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Pascal Siakam. You have to appreciate the unselfishness. He kept the ball moving. That's his second personal you love about Pascal Siakam. He never stops working on his game and he's self-motivated. Some changes for Toronto. Ananobi, he's checked in for Ken Birch. Matt Thomas comes in for Achua. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Otto Porter Jr. Well, where's me spin? Cool hands covered by ah, Cito. fuck me. And it's denied! Sent back by Siakam! Cool oh, fuck off. It's Thomas on the wing. Covered by Mills. Down low. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. And there's the foul. It goes on cool hands. Fuck you, little prick. 
I actually hate Ben. He's just so fucking hateable. I don't know why. But I do, I just fucking hate him. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And so Toronto Oh, I got a rebound out of it. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but this is what happens when you take me into the start and line up, you fucking idiots. Well, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellence. They deserve these losses. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. See you next time, Kevin. Fuck, I didn't even get to do rocks and different things or whatever. It's terrible. This is not the sucks. Two K substitution cheese. Get to him and fuck ASAP to make him agree with it. Wait, hang on. Gotta go in here and get changed first. Anything here? Off to heaven, fuck. I wonder if after you win this, uh, or if you get the win, whatever, this city slam thing, would that be the end of like career storyline stuff? Seems weird, like... Where's the apartment? We're not going to get an apartment this year? Zip lines are there? Not that I was expecting zip lines, but I was expecting an apartment and hopefully fucking Michael with it. Where am I going? I'm so used to going back to the office. I haven't gone in there yet, and so, no, there has to be other shit to do. Wait, where the fuck? Oh, that one, this one. Basketballs. Oh yeah, I can be fucking ages ago, like earlier on day one or something. Nice. MP! <laughs> Mr. Cruz. Nice to finally meet you, oh, bro. Truly, man. I was about to say the same thing, man. Hey, you right. are a hard guy to get in touch with. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, man. These are my streets out here. Now, I ain't mean it in no type of way, man, but uh, <laughs> listen, Mr. Cruz, man, I, I've been wanting to ball at Hammond Park for a long oh, time, man, so this means the world to look me. Look at it. Look at it, MP. Of course you have. Of course you want to ball here, but you got to prove that you love this game and that you love this beautiful city. And somehow, somehow, Shep was able to do that. Shep. Now, look, MP, Shep is a lot of things, not all of which I approve, but Shep has been coming here since he was a kid. Like, look, look at them kids over there playing basketball. Yeah. Shep. He respects Hammond Park, and he knows what it's all about. For sure, for sure. I mean, 
here now we don't see eye to eye that's all you know oh, 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 oh i've noticed i've noticed which is why i think you would appreciate the opportunity to play this year's class <sighs> mr cruz man you have no idea man I, like these people need to know what i'm about out here mm -hmm. that's good because i've been watching you play son and i'm impressed which is why i think you should put together a team for this year's class for real mm -hmm. for real mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't Not play with me man mp i want you to be a captain okay there's only four every year, so that's a big honor. No, no, I, I know what it means, man. I, Mr. Cruz, this means the world to me, man, hey, truly. Hey, you put in the work, you deserve it. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So, what, I gotta just put a team together or something like that? Yeah, best of the best play out here. Pick any three people you want. Right. No such thing as a ringer. All right, all right. I think I got some people in mind. <laughs> Good. Now get to work. Yes, sir. I think you're gonna change a lot of minds around here. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Cruz. <coughs> Right. I'm assuming we're gonna have to go get like, Tracy McGrady. Like, uh, I heard you bet Mr. Kenny Cruz. That guy's my hero. What a baller. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you finally met the great Kenny Cruz. How did it go? Well, um... Oh, my God. He gave me an invite, and I'm one of this year's classic captains. Ooh! Yeah! Let's go! Let's, Let's get, get it! it! Yeah. How <laughs> dare you? Oh, I'm so proud of you, MP. Yeah, right uh, yo, 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 who you gonna run with, though? I already got a squad, bro. I gotta say win. You've been shooting for a while now. <laughs> oh man, I got Hero, Cole, and T Mac. Okay, yes. that's what I'm talking yes. about. Yes, I love what? it. This look is at you great. two. Oh, I'm texting him right now, man. Yo, you know what nice. I can't wait for? To see the look on Chef's face when you walk in with that crew. Man, I've been picturing <laughs> that moment for a long oh, time no. now. Long, this long time. This is your city, babe. And you know what? Indeed. The final boss. Is Hammond right. Park? Yo, yo, yo! My pointer, you, you found it. Yeah, it was under the couch cushions, oh, along with some loose change and a couple of chocolate-covered pretzels. Which, you know what? Could we all be a little neater with food around here? Someone left a cinnamon roll on the counter yesterday, and it was covered with ants. That's Ricky. I don't do cards. Okay, I'm sorry about me. that. I was stress eating. Wait, why are you stressed, bro? Look, everyone's got their struggles, and people. Look, I don't need you worried about me at all. I just need you to stay focused on the classic, right? Don't worry about me, man. Okay, I got but, this. That's what I'm talking about. Put the cinnamon rolls away. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. <laughs> in the air. I'm a little big boy. Come on my way. <coughs> Play your next two NBA games. I can't believe this could be over. Like, the free storyline wasn't very fucking long. Right? I thought there was going to be more shit. Yeah. We have to go to more different buildings and stuff. But mm. like the city looks full with all those people. Like there's way more people. Quest line is not very long. Like it seemed quicker and easier to get the fashion and music stuff done this way. Hey, coach. MP. 
What's this about? I wanted to touch base with you and let you know that we all see how well you're handling the benching. I appreciate that. And we just need you to keep it up. Consistency is key right now. Okay. That sounds good. You're a chipper? Yeah, I just got a lot going on in life right now. And you're handling it really well. Been around a lot of guys your age, and you have a rare level of maturity. You should be really proud of that. I appreciate that, Coach G. I'll see you. <laughs> I see you too, MP. Oh, you were not supposed to be picking up on me. No? No. Oh. All right, well, uh, let me learn. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, partner. Yeah, I'll see you there. On the trading book. Slavery. Try and stop on those dodgy shitty fucking animations that he does when he passes. Let's see what he's doing. The one that's got the bit all maxed out. Run away. This is earned 21 of 24. Why was that thing coming up the same max? Is that uniform? Too bad. Choose a different one. Right. Are we the home team? Yeah. 
You know what? These and that, you know, we're gonna do more things. I got white socks on. I wonder if I'll get black. There'd be more to this career storyline. Like, the way they're going, it's going to be some of the power struggles. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's really come up. Three bitches. And with every new NBA season, Grant, it's always fun to see which players have a breakout year. NBA, it seems like guys always have breakout years. Usually we see it with the younger players, but sometimes it's with guys who've been in the league and are now in new situations. Last year, we saw breakout. Yeah, you have a breakout year every year. Come to me, come to me. <coughs> Just keep getting better. <coughs> Smith. Yeah, it's better way. Um. Inside, here's cool hands. Yes, and that's Simmons with the assist. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Jackson with a screen on Simmons. Heel to the ball. Durant covering. No. To stop the run. That shot missing. How did I not block that? Going the other way now. They've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. To the inside. Dorte grabs the board. And the Pacers with possession here. They trail by 11. They want to keep rolling here. Ah, oh, shit. Against Minnesota. What and chase down out of this fucking useless? They could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. Well, let's give some credit to the coaching staff as well. Recognizing the weaknesses in that defense and going after each one of them. Fuck. And here's Heal. 17 points for him. Last game against Minnesota. That's what you call a strong take, folks. Buddy Heal so assertive. Brooklyn has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Yeah, and for the Pacers, things have gotten stale. So they bring Damn it. Coach and Rick What's going on? A new potential star in Tyrese Halliburton. A fresh start for this franchise. Halliburton outside. to Duarte. Shot clock at six. From the wing. Again, the Pacers. Good for two more. Indiana switching things up recently. Going forward in a new direction. You know, B.A., change can be a good thing. Sometimes organizations... So saying, you know, going backwards before. Winning 42, 44 games. Losing in the first round. It's KD. That was worse than Marshall. Making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship caliber team the Pacers making a switch here McConnell's checked in and a change for the <laughs> Carter Williams has checked in what is in the game Question at the end of the day though these guys just got a ball and ultimately I think they just roll with the punches Warren's checked in for Kevin Durant. Guys, you think about the Indiana Pacers, a team that has had several coaching changes of late, and obviously that kind of inconsistency has no doubt played a part in their recent struggles. And it's in there. Wait, Ben Simmons, because of his size, inside, he is a dangerous force. 
Sucks coming off the bench. Fucking trying to add to get shit done. Oh no! Dunk it. What the f what the fuck isn't he dunking it? Oh, actually, don't tell me. I have to check his animations. I gotta double check those fucking animations. I bet they fucking disappeared again. And the front office for Brooklyn has said they need selfless players who want to be there and are available. Well, BA, the message is pretty clear. After Kyrie Irving missed most of last year due to personal choices, the Nets want all hands on deck this go around. Warren finds Simmons. Now McConnell. 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Fires the three. The shot by Dorte, no good. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Simmons. Pass to Cool Hands. And the Nets oh, the no. Shoots over McConnell. Misses off the right iron. <laughs> Indiana trailing here. Right side here. What the fuck is going on here? Here's the three. Or is this one of those, it's an away game, so you got to lose type of thing? a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Cool hand. And look at those moves in the post. And the smooth finish to go along with it. Just excellent work around the rim. Here's Duarte. A 20-point game for him in the win against Minnesota. From deep three-point range. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. What the fuck was this max shit? You put those three extra things on the when you get the four at the start. They're just not registering. Like, they're fantastic. Brissette comes in for Smith, and Heald is subbed in for Duarte. So Brooklyn going with almost an entire new group here. Pass to Cool Hands. Oh, the, Alley. the Pacers have gotten six shots to fall out of 13 attempts here in the second. On the floor for the Nets. Kyrie Irving out there with Ben Simmons. Then there's Kevin Durant. Then it's Royce O'Neal. And it's Cool Hands in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. To the paint. And he dumps it. What a pass to set him up. We can get lost in the impact. Oh, yeah, I was gonna try and just ease my way into this game now. A very bad start. Now McConnell. Turner, a screen on Irving. McConnell passes to Turner. Two points. Fuck. Turner's got four points now in the quarter. How about that? Running the pick and roll to perfection. Evident that Miles Turner loves these situations. A kick to Durant. Get out of there. The floater, chalk up two there. Durant's got ten points in the game. Sorry, I can get fifty games in. The shot mechanics finally in sync. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. I love it, making their own luck. You don't want to let off the gas with the lead. Continue to make things happen. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Brooklyn has gone three of four from outside so far in the second quarter. O'Neal inside. Brissett's there. Back to Simmons. Shoots over Halliburton. And that one hits the back. Oh, I couldn't barely let me jump. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Pass to McConnell. Nah. I put me thing. I was... 
thinking about going off the intercept and I thought, no, nah, don't do it on. I was sort of too late with it. My son was resting on it and I just accidentally pressed it on him. I went and made my son off it. What an idiot. Heavy thumb. Shots and they certainly want a guy who can hit threes. Miles Turner does both, Grant. Yes, he does, BA. Miles has led the league in blocks multiple times. He also shot it well from the three point range. He's just a unique skill set. It's really hard to find guys like Turner. But Taze's checked in for Indiana. Jackson comes in for Brissett. Dorte, he's checked in for Turner. <laughs> Well, Indiana shooting just 38% for this game so far. Outside heel from the arc. Drains the triple. Seven points in the game. Well, this second quarter has proven to be a turnaround. This guy looking much more comfortable all of a sudden. To the middle. Here's cool hands. And he goes in. Yeah, gotcha. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. And here are the Pacers now. Nine point game. McConnell outside. The three ball. The shot no good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. This game coming after a loss versus the Raptors. And they got to the line at a good clip. But couldn't cash in. And yeah. it ruined their chances. Oh, I got an assist too. You, know you miss free throws is you're giving the team opposite you all the momentum. You're failing to get time on us. On their mistakes. Down low. Here's Batase. And that one is... Oh, fuck. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Like a fire, that's the fucking chase down out of You saw. little desperation, the other side losing focus. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Fuck. As it goes out of bounds, Brooklyn able to keep possession. Aren't that shit done? He's checked in for O'Neal. There's 47 seconds left in the first half of this one. Uh, you can see that the team relies on Kevin Durant to be consistently productive, and he is delivering. Pass to Bataze. Takes a three. Fires in the triple. Fuck. Bataze's got nine. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. Here's some. You said it's great. I got me to make right back. Oh, what the fuck was that? Throw it down on the breakaway jam. This energy is unmatched. The finishing transition, nice and easy. To the inside, cool head. Yes, and that's Simmons with the assist. He's a bit light with that pass, man. Simmons has got three assists in the game. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. From deep. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. I love the energy of Kevin Durant. Seth Curry. He's been the guy making things happen. Really not liking the idea of that fucking defensive thing saying Max. Leading to nine points in the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. The offense is clicking right now. They're moving it well. And got it. All right, now I think we should check out the rookie of the year race. Well, Why am I wearing Pacers uniform? Montero, making this kind of impact. Young fella can do it all. He fits the mold of the modern day. No, I don't play for the Pacers. Okay, TK. Is it just because it was the Pacers in the game? They're useless. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Seth Curry really making an impact here today. Yeah, tonight. Institution here for Indiana. Batase okay, let's have a bit of second round. Jackson comes in for Smith. Brissett's checked in for Dorte. And it's McConnell in for Halliburton. Out of bounds. It'll be Brooklyn's ball. Well, at least we got a half this game. Don't look like it. They certainly do, BA. And it speaks to how special the game of basketball is in the Hoosier State. Every level from high school to college to pro, 
They simply love the game, and we're with that. Buddy Heald is out there with Tito ah. McConnell. Then it's Jackson, then it's Kogan Matase, and it's Brissett in at the small forward position. That's the five for the Pacers. And it's McConnell on the drive. And they get that right out of there. Heald for three. Kept alive. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by... Brooklyn has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Here's Carter Williams. Shots blocked. Out of bounds. Out of Williams, what? Yeah, don't give him an inch. Don't give him an inch. Where the fuck did he come from? Simmons against Heald. Shoots from 12. No good. A bit long that time. Well, the Pacers shooting just 37% so far in this one. Pass to McConnell. Back to heel. The three. Brooklyn with the board. Here's Sumner. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Count that bucket. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel yep. and touch around the bucket. Outstanding triple drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. And this is exactly what you love to see. A big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. McConnell passes to Jackson. Oh, nice little shit. Close. And Brooklyn shooting a disappointing 38% inside Sumner. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. This is what Ben Simmons does, guys. If someone's open, he will find him. McConnell outside. Outside heel. Pass to Jackson. It's deflected. Gotcha. Simmons with it. And it's McConnell picking him up. Cool hands with a bucket. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Nets? Well, you have to like what you've seen. Put back the on the stick then, but it was the wrong angle. Well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game. Crashing the boards with authority and turning know. those opportunities into second chance points. Put big time, big time on the offensive glass. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Doing? Sumner on the wing. What the fuck? 51 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. McConnell left side. Outside heel. From outside the arc. Doesn't go that time, so Brooklyn will take it the other way. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Outside heel. Jackson, the screen. Tipped. Here's Carter Williams. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh Man. my goodness, what a yeah, if I called for that, I would have got stolen. Ben Simmons, make your teammate look great. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. B plus. Get to the A minus. With the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And nowadays, switchable defenders are in demand. But we see smaller guards like Chris Paul, Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Vliet. Of course, these are very capable defenders. They are, B.A. They also happen to be very prideful competitors. So undersized guards take offense when you try to post them up. And the players you just mentioned, IQ, toughness, and heart, they all enter the equation. On the court for the Nets as we get the fourth quarter going. Kevin Durant is out there with Marquise Morris. Then it's Edmund Sumner. Then there's Michael Carter Williams. And it's Fuck off. Center, 
What the fuck is with my Inca fucking T3 Inca badge in fucking... Oh, nothing. Here's Carter Williams. Pass to Sumner. Durand with it. He's doing. Well, in December of the 21-22 season, the NBA set a record for most players used in a season. Doris, what'd you learn from seeing so many new guys? I think the exciting part of that, Brian, is the fact that the G League is now an integral part of each organization. You have the opportunity to bring guys up and down between that lower level and the NBA. It affords guys who maybe are getting spotty time in the NBA level to ah, continue to yeah. enhance their skill. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Here's Collison. Pass to Matherin. Let's go with a three. They get it back. Second chance shot. He got a piece of it. Now here's Durant to the paint. Here's cool hands. Deflected. Oh, fuck off. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Here's mm, Collison. Fuck. Pass to Matherin. Shot is up. The Pacers again can't hit, and it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Ah, uh, fuck. That's frustrating, KD. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. So Indiana ends up going with a new group. Substitution on the court. Ooh, Durant with a steal. Here we go, one on one. Here's cool hands. Oh, and there's the whistle yeah, yeah, on the shot. Yeah, yeah. That's not a foul. Are you kidding me? And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Ah, best one yet. Players, greatness can be defined so many ways, but giving back has to be a component of that. Terrible. What do you say, Grant? Well, to whom much is given, much is expected. NBA, I agree 100%. Players today understand the impact that they can have. Everyone involved using this gift to make a change struggled to come off the bench. throughout the world. Oops. Irving against Halliburton. And he's going for the lob. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. The finish! And he caps off the break with a monster slam! That is the length of Miles Turner on the defensive end. What a job anticipating and giving his teammate an opportunity in transition. Nice. Here's Irving. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled. Damn it. Outside voices telling him what to do. Fuck it slow compared to mine. Identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Boy, when you think of Kyrie Irving, hard not to believe he has got perhaps the best handle in the entire NBA. Gets the three to fall. They've been pretty lax with the perimeter. Well, fuck off. They're not going to make a miracle comeback here, are they? O'Neal on the wing. Pass to Curry. On the wing, Durant. Fucking jeez. I bet they are. It's tipped. And their physical dominance has been nice on display. That. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game is gone. Looking to end the drought. Ooh, that's it. Nice. This is a take a break at all on the boards. Man, doing serious work. He likes being an anchor on the glass. Pushka. Well, but as defenders keep forgetting to box him out, he continues to just make them pay. against Irving. Smith with a screen on Irving. And there's Smith. That one's good. On the assist from Halliburton. Halliburton's got six assists in the game. Here's Cool Hands. Turner covers. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll set the rest of this foul. Some changes for Indiana. Jackson, he's checked mm. in for Turner, and Heald is subbed in for McConnell. 
And he misses the second one as well. So over to that's frustrating. Well, with all the trade requests over the last year, the Nets started to seem like a sinking ship. But I mean, maybe like five or ten forward, more on this free fry. Yeah, I can help. He's invested so much in this team. I'm glad to see him remain. And it's healed, missing. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. To the middle. Oh, Ooh, oh, nice. Down it goes. Jam that one home. Well, Kyrie Irving's creativity is indisputable. This guy can score it, but he is also an excellent passer. Irving against Halliburton. Here's Duarte. Ooh, give him his fifth make of the game in 10 attempts. And a superb job of creating just enough separation to hit the shot. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness of the offense? Dunk it! Fuck yeah! And he recovers it. Who the fuck didn't he dunk that first one? Oh shit. This guy's so cool. Ah, not that quick. What's those free for Three, yeah, there are three more games on the bench. The winds can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. And that about wraps it up for Doris Burke. That about wraps it up. And all of our crew. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. So long, everyone. He has an MVP points, what were that for? The Nate White report. Classic is something that definitely excites me. I mean, just the history of it, how many great players have gone there and, you know, continue to hoop at their highest level, things like that. Have you gotten a chance to connect with Kenny Cruz? Yeah, yeah, I've actually had the honor to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. connect with You can't hoop at him. We'll put a team together. So. And it was so important for me to do things the right way, to respect the tradition. So, yeah, we had a nice conversation. He's a cool dude. I bet. So, what are your thoughts on going up against Shep Owens? I mean, he was the captain of last year's championship team. You know, Nicole, um, since the first day I got to this city, everyone has been telling me that this is Shep's city. And I took that personally. So, slowly but surely, I've been making it mine. I got the hip-hop heads on my side, the fashionistas, the entrepreneurs, and obviously in the basketball fans as well, NBA, anyway. But Hammond Park? That's like, that's like the last thing between me and total domination. That's Shep's home court, and the only way to topple a bully is to take him down on his home court. So, 
who are you running with? Ooh. I, uh, I got some heavy hitters on my squad, but uh, you have to wait the showtime to find out. Oh, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time, MP. I'm so looking forward to seeing you at the Classic. For sure. For sure. Fucking said now. Here we go. Hello. Hey, Just everybody. I, I forgot to get changed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, Nate. Look, like you about to jump out of your seat. <laughs> What's up, brother? Well, how do you respond to the reports that Abella Akpen is not oh, that's right, on the phone that other teams ask about your availability, uh -oh. man? I don't want to be traded. This could get interesting. Okay, how do I put this? Everyone has a job on the team, and Adela's job is to explore every option to improve the roster. But wait, you don't think that you've earned a reprieve from trade talks with your recent play? No, I mean not really. I mean, people are gonna ask about you if you're playing well. That just comes with the territory, bro. I mean, but there are stars in this league that are off the table without question. Okay, right and? now, you're not one of them. Oh, okay. Listen, fam, I don't compare myself to other people like that. If my team is winning, I'm good. So that's what I'm all about. That's it. I don't listen to all that outside noise and chatter. All done? Yeah, I do. All right, thanks, guys. I've been playing bad. I don't think it me I'm honest. Thanks, Daily. Here we go again. How you feeling about that classic, baby? Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it, bro. Thanks, the streets were saying they missed me. Yeah. But you're not worried about MP? I mean, I heard he got some hoopers on his squad. And I don't care who he got. We got me. Mm, that's why yes. I like baby. Man, this belt ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. At home, right there, baby. Matter of uh. fact, uh, them green jerseys y'all be wearing, right? You think you hook me up one? They're kind of tight. Those are for the wins of the classic, bro. So, no, I don't think I can hook you up with them. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. You know I can win the classic. <laughs> Man, matter of fact, why don't you ever ask me to hoop? As long as you hooping, don't, don't never ask. Bro. What? Come on, man. You know I was an all-star. <laughs> Sixth grade church league, you remember? Oh, oh, man. Man. Uh, bro. Look, all I'm saying is, if somebody get her, I mean, just sign me in. You no know, way. A crossover mean, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cat snoring. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I know you got me. Shut up, cat. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Man, you Go know snort you in there. Chip, he's funny like a like a clown. You like clowns, right? You've been, <laughs> been drooling. Cool. I'm going to just uh, yeah, why don't have you some focus emails on to the, answer for you. But. The media. Mm -hmm. Correct. But. Rudy's been working overtime for the cause. What the what fuck is, is going on? Welcome to the Jackson Nella Show. We got a special guest today, ladies and gentlemen. Freddy Novak. How you doing, brother? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Jackson. <laughs> so talk to me about teammate grades. They're all over the state of the team report you just released. They sure are. Well, listen, I'm not a stats guy by trade, but I am a data guy. So I think I can explain things without making too many mistakes. Hmm. Talk to me what like the fuck's I have no idea about this stuff, which should be easy because I don't. <laughs> okay, well listen, teammate grades, which was designed by our absolutely phenomenal analytics department, is an all-in-one proprietary metric that takes into account everything a player does on the court, grades his performance on a scale of F to A plus to tell you exactly how much that player contributed to winning. Oh, sounds like something nerd would come up with to get a job. Yeah, well, it's actually really fascinating, Jackson, and it routinely uncovers insightful information. Do you want to hear an interesting finding? I don't want to sleep here, Freddy, so yeah, please. <sighs> okay, well, listen, we calculate teammate grades for every player in the league, not just players on our own team, and it turns out 
that MP grades out as one of the most effective rookies in his class, bettering some pretty big names. Better than who? Jeff Owens, for one. <laughs> But um, if that metric says that MP is better than Shep Owens, boy, you gonna have to throw it in the trash, light it on fire, and throw that trash over cliff. <laughs> well, look, as someone with a scientific worldview, I appreciate a skeptic, Jackson. But while our findings might be surprising, we stand behind them 100%. We feel confident <coughs> that public perception will eventually catch up to our cutting edge analysis. Mm. Why not in the set right then, you bastard? Say where it is, knowing the fact that Shep Owens is better than MP. Only time will tell. Mm. Yeah, will. Well, look, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but it has been a great time having you as a guest, and you are even a better sport. Well, thanks for having me, Jackson. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> you got it, Freddy. It was the point of all that. Really? Mm -hmm.